Write in the mail, MS sex games from Japan. Collecting without fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a package in the mail from Japan. I no, I haven't had a package in the mail from Japan for a while. Uh, mainly because the um, the main seller I was getting stuff off there pretty much disappeared. Uh, they have started back in a little way. I'm I'm actually trying not to look, but a couple of items popped up that I was interested in. I just didn't get all of the items I was interested in. Um, uh, they were MSX items. Um, and um, but I did get a couple of them, so then I bid on a couple of other things, really cheapy things. So in here, um, this whole box, these items are very cheap indeed. Um, so let's see what we got. So the first one in, as usual, very well wrapped. Looks like we're triple wrapped now, so I'll show you this. This is an MSX title, uh, which I don't have obviously, and it's Castle of Drew go, Drew Guy, or something like that. So they've got another plastic wrap over the top of it. It looks very similar to the Famicom version of the cart, even the label on the back. So it's not like the earlier Namcop titles, which actually had the cartridge with the the whole hole in it, large hole in it. But it's definitely an MSX cartridge. You can tell by the um, bottom. I need to give that a clean. Drew the Tower of Druaga. Druaga. So very interested to see what this is on. Obviously only a loose title. Now I, I believe from memory that might be the only MSX title that I actually won. There were a couple of others. There were um, there were oh, no no there is a second game here. Um, there were two copies of Valus 2. Well, I didn't know that Valus 2 came out for MSX. It was for MSX 2. It was a disc game. But they went for I think respectively about 70 and 120 dollars US so there was no way that I was going to um, bid that much for those okay so next we have another title for MSX and it is a pinball game now I'm not a hundred percent sure whether I may have this title loose um, and because potentially the title on the actual cartridge is all in kanji but there are a number of pinball games for the MSX a little bit similar I think I have the one that actually scrolls so I'm not sure I've got this one and it's Thunderball and what's really cool is this one is complete which is very nice so this was the actual main item I saw I bid on the castle of uh, Druaga, um, and I obviously bid on the, the two Valis um, titles. I think there might have been a loose copy of Twin Bear as well, but I, I um, that, that got too much for a loose cartridge, so I stopped. Uh, this looks very, very nice. Oh, look, we've got the manual as well. Yeah, no, I don't think I have the loose cartridge of this one, and this looks like it's new. Seriously, that's in really, really good condition. The cartridge is, even the connectors are shiny. So I think we've done very well with that. It has its registration card. Let's have a look, bit more of a look at the manual. Because with a lot of MSX items, so this one's published by ASCII. So this manual looks really, really good condition. That's the contents page, try and find something there. It is a lot of text by the looks of it. There's one of a couple of diagrams and things on it. So the manual is fairly basic. Uh, we've also got a couple of options for our flippers. Oh, there we go, there are some screenshots in there. Something about a high score table and. 
maybe you can load and save. Actually, maybe you can actually make, make your own pinball tables. That would be nice, and you can load and save them. Yep, I actually suspect that this is a one where you can actually design your own pinball table. So an added bonus. So very much excited to trying out both those MSX titles. Uh, now we do have one more. Now I do actually already have a copy of this. So um, I basically got this for very cheap and took the opportunity to to grab it at the price. Um, and I've actually got a complete one. So this is available for trade. So I'd like to check whether mine has instructions. It's N sub for the Sega SC3000 um, and also works on the SG1000 as well. So Japanese version of NSUB. I already have this in my box up there. It looks in pretty good nick. This one, so it's gatefold like this, has its instructions and the cartridge, and the cartridge looks in good condition. So um, that's actually in really good condition. So regardless, I'll have a copy of that that's available for trade. Um, so it doesn't have to be for a um, SE um, 1000. Sorry, SC3000, SG1000 cartridge that I don't have. Could be for an MSX title or something like that. So happy to, happy to trade with people for that. Um, and that's the end of the box. So there wasn't much in there. Um, I think the postage was only about $14 US, which was quite reasonable considering the number of items. Uh, the most expensive one was the pinball game. I uh, can't remember exactly how much. That was around $10. And the end sub one was like $1.50. Um, people game might have been about 20 so um, not very much money at all um, but it is nice to see that uh, auction houses up and running they don't auction everything though they actually um, they find new stuff and they list it for what they uh, for buy it now for a lot of the stuff and auction other stuff off um, I'll we'll have to wait and see I'll keep my eye out for any other MSX items but I won't necessarily win them of course so but it's always nice to get some extra ones all right let's plug those titles in and give them a play. Um, I'll do N-Sub as well because I probably haven't played that one for a while. Right, so here we go with The Tower of Drew Eger for the MSX. Um, never played it before. Let's see how we go. Okay, so push screen scrolling, have a bit of a maze. vaguely remember playing this from the Famicom version. It looks very similar. So where are you getting um... Oh, seriously. But as with all other NEM got titles, they're very well done. Well, look, we've been lucky this time, we've made it to the key. So it's basically random maze, you've got to find the key and then get to the door, and then you get to go up to the next level. But you are supposed to get rid of some of the enemies on the way. At least I've managed to get a score just by pure luck this time. So random layouts. Yeah, a different sort. Yeah, so we're gonna have to go past this. No. I'm determined to figure out how to kill one. I 
on, how are you supposed to do that? Might be missing something that I'm supposed to do. So look, that's the right button. Does an attack. The left button does the same thing. Right, maybe it's the auto fire and I need to keep my sword out pressed. Specifically looking for danger here. Oh, well, look, it looks like a um, nice, good, fun game. I obviously need to go away and read the instructions in this particular case and figure out the gameplay mechanics, but that actually looks quite good, better than I was expecting in comparison to like the Famicom version. It's nice and bright, um, reasonably high res, but um, yeah, I need to figure out how to play it. Oh, this was driving me crazy, and I thought I can't leave you guys like that. So, apparently, go this way. you have to walk with your sword out and you have to be moving. Right, there we go, did it. As long as you're moving into them with your sword out. things other than just collect the key and get to the door. Go a little bit further and see what we can find. Let's try the aggressive approach, there we go. Didn't see a gold bar in. We can play it now when I've worked out that basic mechanic. So I can go straight to the exit. It's a bit of a boring one. Trouble with random mazes. Let's do one. Just do one more level, then we'll hop to the next game. There you go. So it's not not a too not a too bad game, but obviously it gets harder. Hmm. I don't know if you can hold your shield up and not get zapped. Just block that. Okay. Whoa! Ah, you really don't have a lot of choice there, do you? That's pretty nasty. Alright, so not a bad little game. Um, obviously, practice makes perfect with that one. Alright, now let's go play an X game. Right, so here we go with Thunderball with Guest Cat. You won't leave me alone at the moment. Um, I had uh, this game wouldn't actually work on my MSX2 Plus, so I've switched over to my uh, Philips NMS8250, which is MSX2, and now it's working. It um, 
it actually did come up with the pinball table um, but um, you didn't see this menu so I take it game is going to start again hit number one to four okay we'll get some sound We should have looked up some keys. Oh, so X is that one, and slash is that one. This is going to be very hard to do with a cat. Oops. 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 <laughs> mm, I'm trying to lose the cat. Here we go. The cat won't be happy. Right. Let's try that again. Oh, oh, oh God. That was terrible. Um, Try that again because that's pathetic. <clears throat> Too bad, you know, I all physics. And this is definitely uh, a game I would have loved back in the day. showing us which of the bonus things we've managed <laughs> which of the bonus things we've managed to grab. the game right there we go um so drawer i take it allows us to draw shapes and it does sticky line things that's pretty cool. We've got colours um, and we can paint and we've got different pen thicknesses. That's in there. That's it. Uh, parts. We can go and grab parts and chuck them on the playing field. <laughs> I'm completely wrecking this playing field at the moment. And let's 
switch. Oh, yep. So multi ball, extended ball, different elements. Options. Load. Sample. Ah, there we go. So these are the inbuilt tables that you can use as samples, and then you can build your own. Um, the new table. Oops. Well this is actually Ooh, this is something that I would have played the absolute crap out of back in the day. And yes I would have designed my own tables. How you get it back up to the top in this particular table? Fine, had no idea there was a pinball title like this on the MSX, so there we go, got all the bonuses for the things we got. And off we go again. So oh, I'm very impressed with that and in such good condition. I mean it looks like it's never been played. So um, uh, I was just expecting just a pinball game, so getting a pretty much a pinball construction set as well in the bargain is an absolute bargain so all right i hope you've enjoyed having a look at these new msx games with me i'm electric adventures thanks to all my subscribers thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time